guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my soaps. I am making homemade soaps on Etsy. I'll leave the description down below. So just go ahead and check out my new Etsy shop and let's get into the video. So the first one I have is Wild Rose and the packaging I'm using actually is contact paper, but I'm finding it's working well. It lets the soap breathe and people are able to smell the soap and then you could use this in your shower or bath and set the soap on it to let it air dry. So the first one is Wild Rose and it's a four ounce bar of soap and this one is just a light pink color with rose petals on the top. The next one is Rose and Clay and I'm actually having fun making the labels and I will show you a close-up shot of one of the labels um, in a little bit here. But this one is Rose and Clay. It's a little lighter than the actual Wild Rose because it has clay in it so it lightens it up. And mm, again, it's just full of rose essential oils and it's a pretty big bar. So actually the rose ones have been really popular. The next I have is Lavender, and this one is just a light purple with lavender flowers on it, and it's just light lavender scent. The next one I have is Lavender and Sage, and this one is a two-toned, I don't know if you can tell but the bottom is a green sage and the top is a purple and usually the um, two-toned works for me when I make them um, but sometimes I'll just do a swirl effect with both of the sage and lavender but this one is a really popular one the next one I have is Citrus and Sage, and it's a orange and sage green color, and this one is a swirl pattern, mm, and it just has a nice citrusy scent. And actually to color these, I use all natural products and essential oils and colors and this one I actually used turmeric to color for the orange and just sage for the green so it's an all-natural bar the next one I have is Ylang Lang and again I'll show you a close-up of one of the labels I really had fun making them but this one is just a nice light scent and it's a light pale purplish pink. The next one I have is Oats and Honey. This one is a mild one, so if you have a baby or if you are allergic to any strong fragrances or ingredients, this one is for you. It just has oats on top and honey and again, it's very mild, and you can really smell the honey in there. A lot of people have been really liking this one. And the last one I have is Rosemary and Thyme. And it's packed full of rosemary and thyme and essential oils, and it's just a light green. And again, they're, I don't know if I mentioned it, but they're four ounce bars of soap. And some soaps are a little bigger um, width wise or height wise. Some, it just all depends on the batch. I've really had a lot of fun making these soaps. And I'm actually finding that I'm selling more just in person rather than on my Etsy site. 
but I've had three sales so far. So go ahead and check it out, and I'll see you in my next video.